I spent 1 million stubs to buy Chase uh, Lee off the marketplace here. One of the newest World Series rewards here in MLB The Show 22. Real quick, take a look at a card here. We got a parallel one already. He's coming in at 113, 101, 105, 108. That maxed out fielding as well. When we take a look and compare that to his prime card, it's going to be better across the board. Now, of course, his prime card I have here at parallel five. So when this other one gets paralleled up, it'll be a little bit better. Only thing lacking a little bit is that contact left as it comes out pretty similar to where this prime card was. Obviously, when we get this one paralleled up some more, it will be better. But it's coming in with a lot more vision and a lot more power to both sides of this plate. And that was incredible with this Chase Utley. One of my favorite cards. One of the absolute legends from our early rank squads that we were rocking with gonna take a bit of a similar vibe to the steve finley video with this one y'all really like that one a lot so we're gonna be hopping in events here with jay Sutley to see if he is gonna be worth that one million stubs that we spent to pick him up chase utley my god i don't hate it then steve and chase back to back the goats we can have both lamar oh my god I feel like that's just a waste of value of having both Lamar and Mahomes. Oh, daddy. Absolutely wrecking this dude's world right now. No shot. No shot. No shot. No shot. No shot. Five in a row. Come on. Give me a six. Oh, babe. Six in a row. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Come on. How far can we go? How far can we go? No, Jimmy. No shot. No shot, Chase. No shot, Chase. No shot, Chase. No shot, Chase. Oh, my God. I can see Ants as a slimy tech booster. I mean, hey, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, baby. I'm here to catch it. You know what I'm saying? What is the same as Home Run Derby X cards, but 99s? We will be getting 99s of the Home Run Derby X cards when they have the next Home Run Derby X event, which I don't know where it is, when it is, but it's Mexico City. I don't know when, though. And it's got that movie phone voice on lockdown. Wait, what is that? Movie phone? What is a movie phone voice? Ruth and Killebrew, as stated by Ants, two of the more prolific Home Run hitters of all time. Howard Gonzalez. Howard and Gonzalez both run a Home Run Derby. Also stated by Ants and Mark and Monday video. W, w, w. I think those names would make a lot of sense. Steve Finley getting sold. First swing with Hank Aaron. I was dog water with Hank last year. Hank was a line out machine for me last year. Oh, my, there were Griffey. I thought we'd get another Griffey at this point. Like, yet, I should say. Hank Aaron's a demon. He's a dog. The next Griffey we get is probably going to be Retro Finest, and it's going to be like some crazy reward. World Series Fall is something along those lines. Obviously, not as difficult. Yeah, something like that, but I wouldn't be surprised. Um, so, in the stream, Legend of the Franchise reveal. And in that stream, the dude who was talking about the Moonshot uh, program said it's the most excited other program he's been to release all year, like besides the extreme. So besides the extreme program, this was like the most excited other program he had been waiting for all year long. So I assume it would be pretty juicy. Back in the day when people wanted to find out the times of movies, people would call movie phone and an automated voice would tell you the times movie are played in the movie theater you selected. Oh, oh. I never heard of that before. What? I never heard of that. Thank you, Mookie Parlay Bets. I love the name. <laughs> I love the name. Mookie Parlay Bets. I like that. I used to use Movie Phone all the time. I never used that. You know what I do? You know what I did use though? Which is somewhat this is somewhat similar. Y'all remember looking in the newspaper to find the TV schedule? You get the TV schedule insert in the newspaper, bro? Dang. Oh snap. What's coming on Disney Channel Tuesday? Mom, where's the newspaper? I need to find the TV schedule. The TV guide. Yes, the TV guide. The TV guide. Yo, the TV guide channel? And you're old. I am old. I am, bro. I am. There used to be one. We would get a newspaper insert on Sundays. The Sunday newspaper would have an insert that would show you the TV schedule for the week. So if I wanted to know what was on Disney Channel on like Wednesday night, Wednesday night Disney Channel movie, I would look on the TV schedule that was sent. Or if you went to channel two, you, you flip down to channel two, that was the TV guide channel. And it would just be a constant cycle of what channels were playing what. You would see what was up. You would look, you would wait. Maybe I do Cartoon Network, a Disney Channel original movie. Don't tell me no, you, nah, see bags, nah, we didn't even, don't tell me you don't know a Disney Channel. Oh, okay, you, I thought you were saying like, what is that? 
you go to channel two and for me like cartoon network was channel 52 disney channel was channel 32. so as soon as you turn on the channel you'd have to wait for like the scroll to get down to channel 32 and i'd be like okay what's disney channel no i don't want to watch that wait wait till it gets to 52. oh cartoon network has freaking dexter's lab and then i type in 52 on the on the channel changer but you'd have to go to the tv guide channel to then see what was playing on each channel to figure out what you wanted to watch was the whole page also yeah right it was the whole page and then like the tv guy channel was in alex it would show like three channels at a time they'd just be having like infomercials on top of that tv guy channel was an l if you dude dude if you looked away for half a second and you missed your channel in a scroll that's the block bro you wait another minute and a half two minutes for that to roll back around easy easy now thankfully there was like 70 channels total back then so you'd have to wait near as long but yeah no you're waiting for that bad boy and infomercials yes the infomercials running on top so you'd only see like three channels at a time you'd have to be you'd have to be glued to the tv to make sure you saw what channel was popping up we weren't sitting through a thousand true yeah yeah you didn't sit through a thousand channels at least we decided you decided to, you to sit through quite a bit it still took a time to to wrap through it i had the thanksgiving newspaper how black friday deals yes the black friday thanksgiving newspaper deals or the catalogs did y'all ever get the catalogs from the department stores and i i, I dude you used to get like you get one from dillers you get one from sears you'd get you'd get one from each of them and you'd go i would go through and i would uh put sticky notes on all the items i wanted bro that that entire the entire catalog would just be sticky notes bro <laughs> that's how i make my christmas list oh the sears catalog is in i gotta go through and make my christmas list oh absolutely had it my first tv ever i think had a built-in vcr that's disney channel original movie okay this one's kind of spicy right it's kind of spicy it's a little I, I, I well i didn't think it's that spicy but it's like maybe a little bit of spice uh eddie's million dollar cook-off bro eddie's million dollar cook-off bro that's the best disney channel original movie i would always just fully mark the pages the gi joe page full sticky notes and the rc plane page full sticky notes oh daddy chase Bro, just think about the people watching right now that are so lost. Y'all know, y'all know there's a lot of people watching right now that are so confused. Like, bro, what on earth are they talking about? Can't be that many people. I did the same thing. Oh, you were you were around in the catalog era too? Now hold up, hold up, hold up. How do you remember Christmas catalogs? We don't remember the TV guide channel. Super Nintendo page with all the games? Yes. Oh my, yes. I'd have like a thousand things marked, bro. I'd always have a thousand things marked. I do. The one thing I never got. Y'all have it. Y'all have. Did y'all? Did y'all grow up and always have one thing you asked for every Christmas and never got it? For me, RC plane. RC plane. I asked for an RC plane every year for Christmas. Never. I got one one time. Didn't work out of the box, so it got returned. I didn't like. I didn't like replace it. Never. I asked for an RC plane at least from five years old to probably 15 never got one right started asking for like a couple big things instead my parents also weren't very sneaky either the only time the one time i did get surprised though, was i got an xbox one that i got an xbox one that christmas it came out and that shocked me absolutely shocked me it was like hidden as well like we opened up all the gifts all the gifts were done and i was like dude w christmas like wow what a great what a great kiss for christmas mom was like oh did you like did you look around the corner in there i was like what do you mean she was like just I, I don't know i think there was something still around the corner there was freaking xbox in there ah, i was hyped i was hyped and then that's when i became a demon at 2k because i got 2k with it i got an xbox one and i got 2k you know what's crazy i got xbox one it came with 2k um it came with 2k madden 25 uh like black ops 2 black ops 2 i think 2k 16 madden 25 black ops 2 you think about those games those are like bro those games are so old you know what other game i got with it grand theft auto 5 <laughs> like bro what 